Now, and Dippin' Dots, that's a theme park staple. Like, no matter where you go, Dippin' Dots are there and they are delicious. Um, how did you come about inventing these? Uh, about 25 years ago. Um, well, first of all, I grew up on a farm before that and used to make homemade ice cream. But about 25 years ago, I worked for a company and we were actually making yogurt bacteria to put back into uh, basically feed for like animals. And I started playing with a new way of freezing the cultures. And I started using liquid nitrogen and pelletizing them for quicker freezes. And about a month or two later, I had the idea of making homemade ice cream for my neighbor one day. I said, I love homemade ice cream, but it's too icy. Can we do it? I, I'd like to do it differently. And so I started playing with that, and that's how Dippin' Dots were born. So. And, and they really are fantastic. I, I, I stop and get them every time I see a booth. And you've got some new stuff coming out this year, Clusters. Yes, Clusters. And, and this is actually something I did in my very first store. Um, but we never really brought them out to the public until uh, just this year. They're actually ice cream and they're clustered together with a like a, um, a hard chocolate. And so it makes a really nice combination, the rich chocolate and the very cold ice cream. Mm -hmm. And it's fantastic. Is there anything else that's, because uh, this is your 25th anniversary this year, so any other things going on? Well, we're coming out with some new ice flavors. Uh, we, we're coming out with a, um, a cherry limeade and a, a sour cherry and a strawberry lemonade. Uh, because the summer is as hot as they, they're getting these days, you know, uh, it's just more refreshing, and so that's something a little bit different. We're also doing some sorbets, which is, they're made from um, all natural fruit purees, mm -hmm. uh, very refreshing, a little bit lighter than ice cream, uh, a little bit heavier than the ices, but they're uh, very, very good.